Yes, you know what it is. It's your main man, M. Easy. Real fans, real talk. Make sure you keep it tuned in. Real fans, real talk.com. Where Arthur Domus trip young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I reckon. What's going on? It's Trip Young. Oh, uh, man, back at it. Trying to keep uh, persistent with these blogs. Um, first of all, Make sure you guys are tuning in every Thursday night when we go live on uh, Verizon 44 BPN2 throughout New York City. Real Fans Real Talk. And uh, make sure you guys are checking us out on all our social media. RealFansRealTalk.com is the website. Facebook.com forward slash RealFansRealTalk. Instagram and Twitter at RealFansTalk. Um, and if you guys want to send fan mail questions into the show, it is fan mail at realfansrealtalk.com. We try to get to the fan mail questions every uh, week. Um, so just keep sending them in and we'll keep getting to them. Um, let me uh, actually take a second. Got to shout out the, the family. Uh, Justin Biggs, a.k.a. BK Torch, went into his, uh, his third fight at the uh, King's Theater. Another uh, win by knockout, actually a TKO, but you know that's the same thing. That's when they gotta protect the fighters uh, from things getting going from bad to worse. So uh, definitely want to shout out uh, BK Torch, um, you know, from uh, losing the Golden Gloves to then coming back winning the Golden Gloves, and now he's officially started his pro boxing career and he's actually three and zero, all three by way of knockout. So. Big shout out to, to to BK Torch, definitely carrying that torch for Brooklyn. Um, and then I got to shout out uh, Dino Money, the family over at uh, Active Talk uh, Radio. They had uh, myself and the Statman on last night. I hope you guys tuned in. Um, dope interview with those guys. Uh, shout out to Angry uh, Man as well. Um, you know, myself and Statman, we had a great time doing that uh, interview. So big shout out to you guys. Wish you uh, nothing but the best, uh, you know, with the with the show. Um, and I guess now, you know, we got to go into sports. I'm uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit of uh, basketball today. Um, big shout out to uh, Russell Westbrook, who uh, is uh, now in the top five of all time on uh, triple doubles list. He has a hundred on his career right now, which in itself is amazing. You guys know uh, last season he actually broke Oscar Robertson's record for most triple doubles in a season. And uh, he can actually average a triple double again this season. I think he needs to, to continue with 11 assists a game for the season. He could actually average a triple double in back to back seasons, which is. Uh, amazing in itself. Shout out to Russell Westbrook for that. Uh, we spoke about Russell Westbrook actually on our interview last night on Active Talk Radio. Um, of course, you know, I, you know, it was a question of of him or LeBron. Of course, I take LeBron um, if I'm just you know picking <laughs> one of the two guys. But I don't want that. I don't want the fans to get confused and take that or take anything away from Russell Westbrook. I actually have Russell Westbrook ranked in my top five uh, players uh, um, right now. Um, and I know a lot of people might be mad at me for this, but I actually have him ranked ahead of Steph Curry. I had to think, I think I had Steph seventh on my list um, as far as my top five goes. I had to do a, do a two different ones because um, I know uh, Kawhi being out most of the season, going into the season, I had uh, Kawhi Leonard ranked as the third best player in basketball. Um, but, you know, with the injuries and missing most of the season, I, I don't think it's fair to keep him right now uh, in the top five. I, will, I just won't even count him in my top five because, like I said, he hasn't played all season. Um, but, you know, I, I do think that, you know, Russell uh, Westbrook is – underrated in terms of the top players in basketball. Um, you know, because I felt like while he was in OKC, he kind of took the, the bull by the horns and kind of stepped into the, the best player role on that team, you know. And not to take anything away from Kevin Durant, um, but I, I just feel like Russell Westbrook was the best player on that team those last uh, two and a half seasons. Um, and then to actually 
go into last season, you lose Kevin Durant, who actually who I have uh, ranked second in my top five, um, only behind uh, LeBron. Um, but to to go and lose Kevin Durant last season, and you come in average a triple double, you still take a team pretty much of average Joes, you know, to the playoffs. Um, I mean, outside of you know Stephen Adams, who I think is is solid, a, a solid big man. He can get you a double double, um, play some good defense. But they really didn't have much of a team. And Westbrook was able to get them back to the playoffs and, again, getting the MVP award, you know, I mean, which is nothing short of amazing. First of all, clearly we know people aren't just averaging triple doubles in a season because it's been so long since Oscar Robertson did it. And here we have a guy who's actually on the verge of doing it twice and in back-to-back seasons. So you got to give Russell Westbrook his props. Um... You know, I, 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 he's in my top five. I might even <laughs> push him up to uh to to third right now. I think it's at a coin toss for me, uh, between him and James Harden right now for third best player. Shout out to James Harden as well. He's definitely front runner for MVP, uh, this season. Playing some amazing basketball. I know I had my doubts coming into the season uh, about how well him and Chris Paul. We're going to play together. Um, they both far, far, far exceeded uh, my, you know, anything that I could have possibly thought <laughs> was going to happen with this team. Uh, first place right now, more than likely, they'll finish the season in first place. Um, and, I mean, they definitely have as good a chance as anybody to knock the, the Warriors off. Barring any, you know, major injuries, you know, which is one of my main concerns. I'm not even too, you know, worried about whether or not Harden is going to show up again. I know we talked about this a little bit on last week's show, but I I was more so worried about Chris Paul actually staying on the court. Because, I mean, clearly, you know, James Harden can't do it by himself. And Chris Paul definitely takes off a lot of the load on on offensive end, I mean, definitely on defensive end, because, you know, Harden doesn't really <laughs> play defense like that. But, you know, definitely on the offensive end, he can take off a lot of that pressure. You know, and they just they match up really well with the top teams in the Western Conference and the top teams in the Eastern Conference, you know. So, I mean, I think this is going to be an interesting playoffs this season. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what Houston uh, can do in the playoffs. I'm also looking forward to seeing what OKC can do in the playoffs because OKC, uh, led by Russell Westbrook, you know, these guys are actually, you know, playing some pretty good basketball. I know one of the big stigmas <laughs> with OKC is they play down in their competition, um, but they play great when they're playing against the top teams in the West, which is all the teams that they're going to face uh, when we get to, you know, deep in the, in the playoffs. So I'm looking forward to seeing those matchups, seeing either a Golden State-Houston uh, matchup or Golden State-OKC or OKC, uh, you know, uh, Houston matchup. I'm looking forward to seeing all of these matchups in the playoffs. Um, I think it's going to be exciting, more exciting than anybody thought it would be uh, this season. But um, that's, you know, a large part is due to Russell Westbrook and his strong play. He's continued to excel. They struggled a lot. At the beginning of the season, but you know that that happens when you bring in two superstars to a to a team, and everybody has to kind of get adjusted to what roles they're going to be playing. Uh, you know, but Paul George, you know, started off slow and turned on Melo. I think is be getting acclimated nicely uh, to the team, and I you know I like what I see from OKC. What, whether or not they'll be able to keep that together at the end of the season, who knows? I, I think that's going to be determined by how well uh, they can do uh, this season, how, how far they can go in, uh, in the playoffs. Um, you know, so, but we got to wait and see. I think uh, I will more than likely do another uh, vlog once the uh, seedings are done in the playoffs and just kind of give my breakdown of, uh, you know, who I think is going to win and, and go where. Um, but, you know, we got to wait and see for that. So, that is my time for this vlog. I got to get up out of here. I got some work I have to do today. Uh, got to get this rundown together for tomorrow's show. So, with that being said, make sure you guys continue to watch 
Real Fans Real Talk when we go live Thursday nights, 8 to 9 p.m. on BPN2, and that's Verizon 44 throughout New York City. Um, hit us up on the web, realfansrealtalk.com, facebook.com forward slash realfansrealtalk, and of course, Twitter and Instagram at Real Fan Talk. Make sure you guys are, are, are following us on all social media. Oh, and uh, subscribe to that YouTube channel, all right? YouTube.com forward slash for the fans productions. All right, again, YouTube.com forward slash for the fans productions. Make sure you guys are subscribed because you guys get all the exclusive stuff. You see, we just dropped the uh, Gene Dale interview uh, for you guys uh, last Friday. That was exclusively to our YouTube subscribers. Just a little thank you uh, for all of you guys for continually supporting us over the years. And uh, with that being said, Trip Young, out. Real fans, real talk.com. Well, Arthur Domus, Trip Young, and intern Tom. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark.